everyone today I'll be showing you how to change interior fuse on a 2014 Toyota Sienna so the outlet here and down here does not work the the fuses are blown and um, I'm gonna insert this uh, charger car charger and if there was power this indicator light should light up red it doesn't so that showed me there's no power coming I tested the actual cable to just to confirm um, but no power uh, I believe this happened due to using a cheap car charger that I bought off of eBay uh, I believe that triggered the fuse being blown so don't use cheap chargers they are wired improperly inside and uh, it's not worth um, expensive repairs that you may get uh, this particular car takes low profile mini fuse I'll show you how they look inside they do not use uh, mini auto fuses or or sometimes they call it blade fuses I'll show this is how they look okay this is a low profile mini fuse and comparing that to a a standard mini fuse is uh, let me put it side by side here so that's a standard fuse and this is the low profile fuse so you see the difference and um, these will not work you're gonna need this these may work with the older generation vehicles but not the newer ones okay I'm gonna show you the location of the interior fuse box uh, there's two fuse box um, believe in this vehicle one in the under the hood and this is under the steering wheel uh, where this is so this base this fuse box covers your radio your power outlet car seat and all the other little features that you have in your car is covered under here and probably all the lights and stuff like that are probably inside the under the hood of the of the vehicle so if anything interior is in the under the hood anything interior is is inside here so let me show you the location it's a little difficult to get here but but uh but so you have uh, you have the steering column there coming down and under the steering column if you're looking and on the left hand side is where the fuse box is so right here this is the fuse box all right so that's where the fuse box is and there is on the actual cover you have labeling of all the various fuses and um, so you can so just you know just uh, look at it understand the orientation of the cover so when you pull out the fuse according to the diagram is what you're gonna pull out all right as you can see there's a tab here pull down on it and uh, it comes up okay so you got one P outlet and the other one is SIG cigarette 15A both are 15 um, 15 amp fuses which I will be removing and re-examining and uh, installing um, reinstalling a new a new fuse and uh, uh, so I'm gonna go into my I got this fuse set from uh, Amazon and it comes with quite a lot of various ones uh, so it's good to have these are cheap fuses uh, you can get better quality ones for a higher price but um, 
I believe these are sufficient for my needs. For you, you might want to get, uh, you know, the original OEM ones or uh, better. Okay, so, so I'm gonna need two fifteen. 215 amp fuses which are blue in color let's take them out and the other piece of accessory you're gonna need a, either a fuse fuse puller a, a, a tool that's designed to pull fuse or you're gonna need some kind of nodal knees plier like this So mine is the first one on the so the one that I'm gonna pull first the blue one up here the first one so I pulled this fuse out and obviously from examining it it is damaged 15 amp fuse um, so I'm going to replace this first, test the outlet, then go to the next one. Replace the uh, fuse and now it lights up. Move the second um, fuse and obviously it's, it's, um, it's cut inside so it was an overload of some sort. To get the second one I had to get a different plier um, and uh, this is a little more smaller than the first one I used so you're gonna need a real small plier to do this or a, a fuse puller whatever you have in, um, so yeah so I put I put it back as you can see and I'm gonna test the second one now as you can see it lights up now um, so that's it all right I'd like to thank you for watching this quick instructional video um, you have to be careful when, whenever you work with uh, electrical stuff in a car you can do more damage so if you're not sure how to do this not comfortable doing it you should take it to a mechanic or someone who who really knows how to do this um, but uh, if you're stuck if you need something done right away and if you're able and has the tool handy as you can see it's it's pretty easy uh, pulling one out pulling and just following the diagram uh, if you have any questions please leave it in the description and uh, I'll, I will get back to you thank you very much